up guys and welcome back to the very rare channel where the motto of this channel is to stay rare and all in all be rare. And guys, today I will share the simplest method that you can ever think of to visualize bank shot or indirect bank shots. This method applies to all type of vertical, horizontal and indirect bank shot guys. So guys, buckle up and stay tuned till the end of the video to get a clear picture of this method. Let's go guys! Guys, before we dive deep down into the detailed aspects of this video, a little bit of self-advertisement. Please do subscribe guys to become a very rarian and join the very rare community of this channel. Stay rare and all in all be rare. Each and every one of you are unique and special in your own ways and believe in whatever you do guys. So guys, without any further ado, let's jump into today's tutorial. Okay guys, for our first example, it'll be a vertical bank shot. And I'm sure that each and every one of you know how to do bank shots when they're properly aligned. But in this case, guys, this bank shot is not properly aligned. So what you should do, guys? Well, before that, guys, I would like to inform you that I'm doing a voiceover of this video because I have to do a lot of preparations before each bank shot. And I hope that you understand, guys. So guys, let us see how should we tackle this situation. Guys, in this case, the object ball or the target ball is the 8 ball. And the object ball is the ball that you want to pot via a bank shot. So guys, this method requires you to visualize lines on the table. And I would like to say that the lines you visualize, guys, should not be that thick. It should be relatively thin to increase your accuracy of the bank shot. First step, guys, you should visualize a line from the middle of the object ball directly to the rail. And the second step, guys, from the point where the line touches the rail, visualize a line directly into the pocket that you want to pot the ball via a bank shot. Third step guys, again from the middle of the object ball, visualize a line to the pocket opposite of the pocket that you want to pot the ball. So in this case guys, you want to pot the ball in the bottom left via a bank shot. So you have to visualize a line into the top left pocket for the third step guys. Next step guys, you should find the point of intersection between the lines visualized in step 2 and step 3. Once you've determined that point, visualize a line from that point out into the rail and that is the point where you have to shoot or hit your ball with maximum force in order to make a bank shot. And guys, this method works with maximum force but don't get afraid guys because I understand that if you use maximum force, your cue ball will not have that much of a control and it'll be dancing around the whole table. And guys, later I'll explain how to alter your aim depending on the force of your shot. So guys, stay tuned. Okay guys, this is the shot. In step 1, I utilize the cue guideline to help me a little bit to visualize the line. Step 2 and 3, I have to do it on my own. And once I find the intersection point, and see guys, the 8 ball hit the point that we wanted it to, and it went directly into the pocket. Okay guys, so the 8 ball went directly into the pocket without touching the corners and that is the power of this method guys. And the 8 ball did touch exactly in the position that we wanted it to on the rail based on step 4 and step 5 which is the point of intersection of the lines visualized in step 2 and step 3. So guys, let's jump into our next example. Next example is a horizontal bank shot guys and the same steps applies here. Firstly, visualize a line from the middle of the object ball directly into the rail. Secondly, the point where the first line touches the rail, visualize another line into the pocket whereby you want to pot the ball via a bank shot and in this case, the 8 ball. Third step guys, visualize another line again from the middle of the object ball directly into the pocket opposite of the pocket that you want to pot your ball via a bank shot. And in this case, guys, is the bottom right pocket because you want to pot the ball via a bank shot in the bottom left pocket. Fourth step, guys, determine the point of intersection between the two lines and from there, visualize a line out and that is where you have to hit the ball with maximum force. Here's the shot, guys, and as always, first step, I'll use the cue guideline to help me visualize the line better. Look at that guys, the 8 ball touched exactly at the rail based on the line visualized in step 5 from the point of intersection of lines in step 2 and 3. And the 8 ball went directly into the pocket without touching the corners. That was a perfect bank shot guys, and this method is really effective. 
Guys, before we jump into the next example, I would like to explain what is sliding zone. As you can see, the region bounded by the red line and the rails of each side of the table is the sliding zone. Guys, when an object ball or the ball you want to pot via a bank shot is in the sliding zone, you can visualize the aim using the same method explained earlier, but this time, you don't have to use maximum force. Remember guys, only when the ball is in the sliding zone, you can use lesser amount of force but sufficient force to pocket the ball via a bank shot. And this is because guys, when you use lesser amount of force, the roll generated on the object ball will not change the trajectory of the bank shot if that ball is in the sliding zone. But guys, if the ball is not in the sliding zone, then full force is required. But if you need to use less force in that situation due to certain reasons, then you have to alter the aim done by this method, guys. This is a simple example when the object ball is in the sliding zone. And the methods all are the same, guys. Firstly, visualize a line from the middle of the object ball out into the rail. And the point where that line touches the rail, visualize another line into the pocket whereby you want to pot your object ball via a bank shot. Third step, guys. Visualize another line again from the middle of the object ball into the pocket opposite of that you want to pot via a bank shot. And guys, finally, from the point of intersection between the two lines, visualize a line out into the rail and that is the point whereby the 8 ball should make contact in order to be potted via a bank shot perfectly, guys. Okay guys, let's go for the shot. And as always, step 1, I will utilize the Q guideline in order to help me visualize the line in step 1. And guys, we are supposed to aim at that region in the circle whereby it hits the rail based on step 4 and step 5. And that will ensure you to put the ball in the pocket without touching the corner. Okay guys, tighten your seat belts. It's time for indirect bank shots. And guys, in indirect bank shots, the target ball or the object ball is the cue ball because that is the ball that you'll hit into a rail and it'll bounce off the rail and hit another ball into the pocket. So guys, step 1 is a piece of cake. You can utilize the cue guideline in order to visualize a line directly out into a rail. Second step guys, the point where the cue guideline touches the rail, visualize a line into the pocket whereby you want to pot a ball and in this case, the top right pocket. Third step guys, from the middle of the cue ball, visualize a line into the opposite pocket where you want to pot your 8 ball. And in this case, it's the bottom right pocket. Next step, guys, is the same as previous steps. Determine the point of intersection between the two lines. And from there, visualize a line out into the rail. And that is the position on the rail whereby you have to strike your cue ball with maximum force to be able to complete this indirect bank shot. So guys, let's see the shot. Okay guys, this is another example of an indirect bank shot. And for simplicity, I will try to summarize the step for you for this shot. Guys, for dessert, an indirect horizontal bank shot. Enjoy, guys. Guys, that is all from me. Please do share this video if it helps you so that those out there can improve their bank shots too. Guys, I really took a very long time to edit this video so that you guys can improve your indirect gameplay. Therefore, show support by subscribing to this channel to become a very rarian and together let us enlarge the very rare community of this channel. Therefore guys, without any further ado, let's jump into the second segment of our video today. Welcome to the second segment of this video where we will be talking about the human body, specifically the human heart. Guys, the human heart comprises of four chambers, two atria and two ventricle, the right and left atrium and the left and right ventricle. Guys, the human heart is basically made up of cardiac muscles 
and nodal tissue. So guys, what are nodal tissues? Nodal tissues are tissues that have both muscular and nervous characteristics. And some example of them are the sinoatrial node and the atrioventricular node. One special characteristic of the human heart is that it is myogenic, which means that it can produce its own internal signal or impulse spontaneously without the need to rely on nerve impulse from nerve cells. And this special feature is again due to the sinoatrial node. That is all guys in this video. Please do subscribe to join the very rare community of this channel and become a very rarian. I leave you with the motto of my channel. Stay rare and all in all be rare. Each and every one of you are unique with your own sets of strengths and skills and therefore believe in whatever you do guys. Till then, take care and bye bye. See you in the next video.